This is the end. Uh, it's been quite a ride. Many, many ups and downs, but it's about time to set things to rest. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty mentally drained, honestly. Uh, this kind of work really takes it out of you. All the research, uh, all the writing, I mean, it's nonstop. I've already made the announcement in the physionic community, but I wanted to get on here and uh, let you in on it too. So I think I'm ready to start a new chapter in my life. I think, I don't know the best way to put it. Oh, wait, <laughs> my bad. Did, did you think that I meant physionic? Oh, the, no, no, no. There's been a gross misunderstanding. Okay, admittedly 100% caused by me. No, no, I'm actually talking about my PhD. Let's, uh, let's, let's bring that introduction uh, back in here real quick. Yeah, there's a few things wrong about that now. Uh, let's see, how about we just get rid of this? Okay, okay, great. And how about we add something to the front there? Yeah, that feels fan freaking tastic. It's going to take some time to get used to it, but I'd better get used to it in a hurry because just earlier this week, I officially successfully defended my PhD to a committee of six doctors, which means after five and a half years, and two years before that, and two years before that, I have finally earned my doctorate. Something that I've been wanting to achieve for over a decade. So what's finished, what's at its end is my studentship. But this means some changes for Physionic as well. After I take a moment to really internalize this newfound freedom, I'm going to go full-time on Physionic, which means even better quality work, more improvements for the insiders, if you remember, and an overall hyper-focus on pumping out investigations faster and better than ever before. I am thrilled at that prospect. But one more thing, actually two more things, one of which is something many people have been asking me about for the longest time. What's on my wall? But before we get to that, I'd like to first announce that I'll be doing a live session with everyone in the Physionic community sometime in the next few weeks. If you'd like to see me present my dissertation work and generally hang out in a live session with me, then be sure to join the free community. I'll make a more exact announcement on the date and time once I have my head screwed on straight again. It will not be on YouTube. So if you want to join, it's free, but you have to join the Physionic community. I'll link it in the uh, description. Okay, the thing that people have asked me countless of times about, what is on this wall behind me? Not the picture, but the other thing. Any guesses? I've heard gigantic cockroach, massive spider, and plenty of others, even my dad uh, had some fun with it. Well, since I'll be moving shortly and it's been a point of endless curiosity, I thought I'd go ahead and finally reveal what seems to be a subplot to many of my videos according to the comment section. It's an alien face hugger. In fact, it doubles as a face mask. Excellent sleep, highly recommend it. If you, if you haven't seen the Ripley Alien movies, you are forgiven for being entirely confused. But if you know what I'm talking about, you are a nerd. And I love it. The real answer is, it's a sprinkler. I know, not as exciting as a giant spider the size of my face that I haven't noticed for months and months. But it's certainly less terrifying. Anyway, the mystery is solved onto a new chapter with extra focus on Physionic. And as always, thank you for being such a fun and intelligent group that are along for the journey. It's only onward and upward from here. And remember to join the free community if you want to join the live session. Till next time.